Oh my gosh, we got a big emergency. The baler, our hay baler is on fire. Holy cow. There's all the smoke. Welcome back to the channel guys. It is July 22nd and uh, we're gonna have another busy day. So uh, y'all come join us and uh, we'll see what we get into. I'm not sure what it is, but y'all will find out. Just keep watching. What he's doing right now is he's riding it around the lot and uh, basically we're just letting the engine run make sure everything sounds okay. Uh, he's at half speed right now on the throttle. We'll uh, do a full throttle here in a second. And uh, hopefully everything will work out all right. Any codes? Uh, no, just not the you the solution. Is it, is it not, not the engine fan. Okay. So. All right. Next on the list today is uh, we're gonna check the oil and the gearboxes on the gearing hall corn head, and uh, it's this little plug right here, and the little trick trick to getting that plug out is, which I've learned on my own, is you take a bolt that's the same diameter as that little plug, tap on it with a hammer, and uh, then take your Allen wrench and it'll come right off. But uh, I don't know, they just, they get real tight right there. So if you don't tap them with the bolt just to jar them loose, they're, they're really hard to come out. But uh, we're gonna check the oil in all those gear boxes and make sure, make sure they're all ready. jars at least. Well, she... I mess. And blow it off. And it's got a dipstick. So that's the plug? Yeah. I've never had to oil, add oil to any of them because they never leak. If you find one low, <laughs> I gotta look up see what kind of oil it takes. I might as well do that. It's probably some kind of special gear oil. You always gotta have your operator's manuals. You always gotta read them. All right, when filling or adding oil to any of the gearboxes on a gang hall corn head, use 80W90.
All right, next step on getting the combine ready is the concaves, which uh, when I was out of town, Dad and James uh, put them in. These are the large wire. That's what I run on corn. Um, I do have the round bar uh, concaves if I need to, if I get into some morning glory issues or if we want it needed to get in some high moisture corn. But uh, this is basically what I run, just large wire and large wire. And uh, so that is done. Looks good. I checked the other side. It's okay. Uh, one thing I did notice is this chain right here is uh, pretty slack. It's all it's all out of adjustment. I got like a half an inch behind there, and that's all I got for you know if I need to adjust it a little more, tighten it. So uh, basically it's time to uh, take a link out of this chain and uh, that way we can uh, get more uh, more use out of it because it is it is at the end of its uh, adjustment. So uh, we'll pull this off and um, take the master link loose right there and uh, take this chain off and uh, grind the link off and put it back together and put it back on. here working in this warehouse because um our main shop it's just got stuff all in the way in there and there's nowhere to work so uh that's why we're out here in the warehouse in the makeshift shop bench but it'll do the job All right, it's out. Time to go back on. Horses. We got it, but the sprocket, the idler ain't gonna go on. Uh, it is. Yeah, you get it on it. <laughs> I guarantee you get it. On. Got a lot of confidence, PA. That little nut, <laughs> that was on the back side. I don't know. You took it off. <laughs> I'm quick to take something off and not pay attention to that. <laughs> we got it on film. Roll the tape back. <laughs> All right, it's on there, but it's probably way too tight. Uh, probably should put a half link on it, but Dad said uh, keep it sprayed <laughs> and let it ride. So we're going to let it ride. All right, next is the elevator speed. 
corn, chopper shaft, big pulley, elevator shaft, small pulley. We want the elevator in fat and fast for corn. The reason for that is is because you got a lot of volume of uh got a lot of volume going through that elevator. A lot of corn, high yield corn. It's not like soybeans and wheat. Anyway, it's a lot of a lot of stuff going through through this elevator. This is the elevator. It's got these paddle wheels right here that run on a chain. And that all that grain is coming from the header is coming out of this auger right here and it's coming right here and these paddles are going by like this really fast and it's it's grabbing that corn and carrying it up on that little paddle right there all the way to your grain tank so uh a lot of stuff goes through right here you got to make sure you're on fast or your elevator will be uh really choking up because it's not getting the grain up to the tank fast enough so um this is what we got to change we got to have that on the small pulley take this belt put it on the small pulley and then down there we got to change the belt uh from that pulley right there to the other one and uh, i got to loosen this right here this is your belt tensioner Get that loose and then we can swap them all around and you got to flip this uh gotta flip this pulley around and put the uh spacer on the back side you'll see all right i say it's time for a little time lapse on this I don't know if you can see the airplane. That's my fungicide going out on the soybeans. That's Gentry Smith putting it out. Does a wonderful job. We use him all the time. He has been a big lifesaver for us the last couple of years. But um, he's gonna make a pass and come right by me. But you'll see the fungicide and the anyway the chemical coming out the spray looks real dark and the reason for that is um i'm using top guard eq fungicide six ounces to the acre but um also i'm putting some iron in there uh, so that's why it's got that dark color to it but you'll see him when he comes by i don't want to get too close to him I can watch that all day. I love that. Oh my gosh, we got a big emergency. The baler, our hay baler is on fire. Holy cow. There's all the smoke.
Oh man, this is not good. I don't know if we can get the tractor unhooked. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, James got the tractor unhooked. Whew. Thank the Lord. Thank gosh he got the tractor unhooked. Oh, bad day on the farm. These things happen, but there's no way we can put the bay. The baler's ruined. There's nothing to do with it. The main thing is James got the tractor unhooked. I can't believe he did that. Thank goodness. And you hate days like this but uh when you're farming around this equipment and stuff stuff like this happens uh, luckily we got the fire put out because if it had got over there in that hay field the whole hay field would have burned up but i tell you when you have when you have good workers like we do that are really smart and can think on their feet quick james saw james didn't even know the baler was on fire wayne called him wayne was raking called him said the baler was on fire james got out flames were coming right at the tractor he was smart enough to jump out just pull the pull pin and just take off you know with the tractor all the electrical wires and drive shaft just ripped off but he saved our tractor that thing would have burned up so fast but um did a great job hats off to him today because uh I don't know if I would have been able to think on my feet that quick and save that tractor, but uh, he did it. And, uh, we thank him for it. Even with all this going on, you still got to keep farming. And uh, we got Josh shaking hay. And got Mark. He's down there still raking hay. Uh, the main thing is we got hay that's ready. And we don't know when the next rain is. We'll have to bring somebody in with a hay baler to help us uh, get this field bailed. But anyway, you just got to move on. You don't stop.
we were trying to figure out if it was uh what really caused the fire and um we think it was maybe a bearing or something because it wasn't black smoke at first if it was black that means you had a hydraulic leak pouring a hydraulic fluid on the fire and uh, but it was gray smoke so that probably meant a bearing went out and then it just caught the hay bale on fire inside the hay baler and man it it was there's no there's no saving it and we actually had a fire extinguisher on the baler but flames were so bad you couldn't even get near the baler to even get the fire extinguisher it was, it was a terrible situation but thank goodness james is all right thank goodness he uh saved that 8320. well that is all that is left they put it out before it burned all the way up well guys unfortunately we are out of time for this video um it's been a heck of a day today at triple r farms but uh these things happen and um luckily like i said before james didn't get hurt trying to unhook the baler but uh he somehow managed to do it i don't know how but uh man he, he saved that 8320 tractor so uh, big thanks to him um Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Um, PA is bringing uh, our, he's going to refill our water trailer and uh, he's going to bring it back out here. It's still smoking just a little bit, so we'll probably soak it down one more time and um, probably leave the water trailer out here just to make sure we don't catch the rest of the field on fire. I hate the video ended like this, but. Um, I mean that's just it we're gonna film what happens every day and uh sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad but thank you all for watching if you don't mind give me a thumbs up just hit that little thumb it means you like the video if you haven't subscribed come on and join the channel we'd love to have you and uh other than that we are out see you guys